Hello, this session is to make you acquainted with the Sherpa Romeo online resources to check publishers copyright and self archiving policies. So Sherpa, a database of publishers policy and listing services run by Sherpa services and its aim is to show the copyright guidelines and open access policies of scientific journal. Aim of this session is to understand the practice of open access publishing through Sherpa Romeo platform and search Sherpa Romeo to determine publishers copyright and self archiving policy. So why such kind of republication policy and self archiving policy is very much important for scholarly communication. Now see, you have the knowledge on open access publication and different kind of initiatives. If you are interested to publish your document or publish your research work in open access publication platform, then you have to have the knowledge in which platform or in which repository or in which place you are going to publish your research paper. Reach the motto or to publish in the way journal of your choice, please be sure to before self-archive your article with a suitable way open access repository or open access journal. You must have the knowledge or you must have that information is it that much reputable or your publication or your research work have the potentiality to be visible and to ensure that they are preserved over the longer term or not. It is a good idea to keep preprint and postprint version of your article. Uh, here it is very much important to know about the preprint, the terminology. Preprint actually uh, refer to all version of your academic article or research work or other publication before it has been submitted for the peer review. So it is preprint. Before peer review, that is preprint. And while we are talking about the postprint, it is a form of the article after all the peer review changes are in place. So it is ready to press now. Postprint is one kind of ready to press. And we have another free tool like on paywall, OA button. So everybody can access a free copy of your paywall paper with just one click. For that, we may shuffle uh, the scientific uh, aggregator like core or base. For the, it, it is actually single search interface to find OA content. We can use this uh, platform to publish our own research work. You are not sure that where to publish your research paper or if you are not sure that if your publisher allows self-archiving or not, then to check the self-archiving policy of your journal using publisher copyright policies and self-archiving tool that we are using Sherpa Romeo. It is a totally a UK based service and it covers a now good number of international journals. Actually, Sherpa and Sherpa Romeo, it is a database of publishers' policies and it listing different of different kind of services run by the Sherpa service, which aims to show the copyright guidelines and open access self-archiving policy of different scientific journals. So it is the place where we the a uh, novice person or we the author we can have the information whether a journal where I actually published my research paper whether 
it gives me the ample opportunity to self archive my very own research article or not share for whom you giving you the that platform to have the information on different kind of policies actually which is actually specially self archiving policies of your journal who are using publisher copyright policy self archiving like that there are different kind of services available number one self of fact is there share of fact it checks actually if compliance with funder open access policies can be achieved with a particular journal or not share for romeo it gives a summary of publishers open access archiving condition for individual journals share for juliet is there it enables actually researcher and librarians to see funders condition for open access publication and related services like open door uh, is there which enables the identification browsing and search for repositories in is also in the sherpa services fab so these are the services catered by the sherpa now we are concentrating on the sherpa romeo service which actually gives a summary of publishers open access archiving condition for individual journals with this service only a individual or, a, or an author can identify the journal which you have already published your material are allowing you to self archive your material or not so sherpa romeo is a online resource that aggregate and present publishers and journal open access policies from around the world from the sherpa romeo web page itself you can see it giving the impetus or giving the focus on the words like that every registered publisher or journal held in romeo is carefully reviewed and analyzed by our specialist team that is sherpa romeo specialist team who provide summaries of self archiving permission and condition of right given to the authors on a journal by journal basis where possible so this is their usp this is their key point it it this kind of services actually they are facilitated they are promoting the policy information provided through this service primarily aims to serve the academic research community this is helping hand a good helping hand to promote open access initiative to promote open science so this is really a wonderful service catered by the nottingham university uk and there are different kind of version three version of the manuscript we are considering as well as shared for romeo is also considering that is number one free print uh, already articulated in the previous slide that free print which is the manuscript version before peer review post print which is accepted after peer review and third version of the manuscript is considered by sherpa romeo that is type shape manuscript or publisher manuscript which is the manuscript with the text after peer review fully type set it means as it appears in the journals so pre print accepted manuscript which is called as post print and publisher version that is called as type shape that is already a full proof condition of your article that is fully typeset and it appear as it is in the journal so three flavors or three version of your manuscript is considered in the sherpa romeo service there are different kind of services catered by the sherpa itself romeo is one of the service which provides actually information of publishers the beauty of this sherpa romeo service is for searching publisher or individual journal open access policies sometimes publishers might have an overall open access policy for all their journals so it also depict all kind of things in, in its web page sometime individual journal belonging to the same publisher might have different open access policies and sherpa romeo can be searched for either publisher or journal information so such kind of services catered by the sherpa romeo uh, search mechanism here you can see search box we can search any journal sherpa romeo search service 
where you can check publisher's copyright and self archiving policy for your scholarly journal so just see here you can type nature nature is a well known journal we all know so at after typing here the nature it will automatically retrieve all the indexed file which is related to nature i just try to focus on the pure journal that is nature just after clicking on this area and after clicking on the search button it will retrieve the publication information just see title that is nature it is published in english issn electronic and print url is there publisher nature research and tg status that is transformative journal from close access to open access transformation is there so whether it is plan a is approved or not so this is the information gathered by the sherpa romeo project itself and what are the this, this is the main aspect that what are the publishers policy open access pathway permitted by this journal policy are listed below so published for the published version what kind of facility is actually given number 1 for with this icon it is telling you that this pathway has an open access fee associated with it it means it is charging article processing charge open access fee that is article processing charge with it then open access publishing with this icon it is giving the focus on the open access publishing facility the pathway include open access publishing embargo is not so no embargo is there license under cc by and definitely publisher deposit is there and it is declaring it is its term of publisher deposit that is european c and pubmed central location any website journal website you can self archive so this is for published version and for the accepted version they have their own policy just see for accepted version pathway a pathway b submitted version so lots of uh, conditions are there so you have to look onto into uh, look into uh, the matter the uh, in case of accepted version prerequisite is that if a research article then embargo period is 6 just see with the icon embargo it it already declared that 6m it is 6 months embargo period is there license publishers best book license copyright owner will be author and location will be author's home page founder designated location institutional repository name repository like pubmed central europe apmc etc so and these are the condition so you have to look into the matter that accepted version pathway is actually uh, facilitating such kind of conditions and accepted version pathway b there you can see that prerequisite funder who is prerequisite funder for them embargo period is there or not what are the licensing pattern and what may be the locations and for the submitted version so and so forth they can already for the submitted version prerequisite if so our research article no embargo is there authors copy or the copyright owner and they can self archive their material in their home page or found a designated location or any institutional repository or preprint repository like that and the most important is the condition is must link to publisher version upon publication source must be acknowledged and ui cited Post print are subject to stringent nature, reuse term, no commercial use. These are the condition. So, in with this uh, information, now you are very much well informed that whether you can self archive your article or not. So, this is the right place to identify or to understand whether your journal. has the open access publishing policies or to check the publishing publishers copyright and self archiving policies or not so please happy to publish open access platform and uh, before publish just think and check whether it is there or not the provision are there or not publisher by country it is a wonderful figure that has been done by the sherpa remio project 
these are the publisher by country and it is a wonderful growth rate of publisher in romeo itself just see from to the january 2004 there is only 59 and august 2020 20 it's 4064 so the growth rate of the publisher registering themselves in romeo it depicts that we are creating or we are jumping to the open access practice itself this is only platform through which we can clearly state whether the journal in which my article or research paper has been has already been published whether it gives me the facilities to sell the archive my own research article or not and if so what are the conditions and what are the ifs and buts for those we are actually giving the more impetus and on the basis of that we can search and we can upload our document or we can self archive our document thank you